Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming a ship with me video. I uploaded a thrift haul two days ago and I had several items sell very quickly from that thrift haul. So I thought I would make a ship with me video to kind of show you guys what's selling quickly, what's hot, what's trending. I've mentioned it in the past, but I think that's super helpful information and I just kind of enjoy chatting while shipping. So I have everything pulled here. I have all of my labels and let's go ahead and get into it. So our first sale is a two piece bundle. The first item in the bundle is this new with tags Patagonia dress. It's a colorful feather print. It has a strappy back. And here is the Patagonia tag. I was very excited to find this, especially because it was at my local outlet store. So I did only pay $2 for this dress. And it was on a rack that a lot of people had already looked through. So I have no idea why this was left behind. And the second piece in the bundle is this Lululemon tank top. It's a two-in-one tank, so it has the sports bra and the outer tank. So Lululemon tank tops, I, for the most part, will not pay over like $3 for just because they don't sell um, that amazing anymore. I should say the older Lululemon tank tops like this one, um, they are really nice, you know, and they're supportive and they're very high quality, but their resale value really has gone down. I do have an example that I will be shipping soon of a newer Lululemon tank top that it sold for a great return. So, you know, not across the board. I will still be picking up Lululemon tank tops, but only if they are um, a newer style, a more sought after style. And that, that one that sold really well, that one I actually picked up at the bins. So, um, so yeah, I don't really know where I'm going with all this, but basically, um, uh, my advice is if it's an older style Lululemon tank top, you know, don't pay more than $5 would be my advice. So this two piece bundle sold for $45. And that made my earnings $36. I did pay a total of $4 for both. And so my net profit came out to $32 on this bundle. Okay, next we have another bundle. This is a three piece bundle. The first item is this 100% wool free people turtleneck sweater and this piece actually all three pieces in this bundle were listed within the last three days or so so these were all very quick flips you guys have asked me i often get the question how i have so many bundles uh i really don't know i think the thing is this is another free people sweater it's slouchy and cozy. Um, I think the thing is that I list a lot of similar items. Like, you know, these two are both free people. They're both cozy, kind of lounge pieces. Um, and I think, you know, I think my closet kind of has a general theme to it. Um, I wouldn't say that I really go out of my way to curate my closet. I mean, I guess I do. But, you know... If something is desirable and there's a market for it uh, and it doesn't exactly fit in with my closet, I definitely will still pick it up. Let me see. Um, I might need to use a big box. Okay. So yeah, I'll still pick it up if it doesn't exactly go with my closet. So I, I think that that means that I don't have a totally curated closet, but for the most part, I do like to pick up a lot of the same styles and, um, you know, brands, trends. Like, I pick up a lot of boho. I pick up a lot of, like, lag and look, cottagecore vibes. And I think, 
you know, people see several items that are kind of similar that they like in my closet and they just bundle them together. So, um, yeah, I don't know if that really answers the question and or is helpful, but that's just kind of what I do. Um, a lot of the stuff that I pick up are items that I personally really like that I would wear myself and that I think are trending and in style. And I think at the end of the day, they all kind of um, maybe are similar or have overlapping characteristics. The last piece in this bundle is a little Gymshark ombre sports bra. And this bundle sold to a repeat buyer. So thank you so much if you're watching this for shopping with me. And the bundle sold for $65. I'm out of tape here. Making my earnings $52. I got, I actually got all three of these pieces at the bins, the Houston Goodwill outlet, where I pay $2.19 per pound. So I paid at most $5 for this, for the three pieces in this bundle. So my net profit was around $47, which is fantastic. So I think, let me see. I'm going to add a piece of paper. I just have these two. I have a piece of paper lining the bottom and then I'm going to add this piece as well as the sports bra on top so that it's you know kind of cute when the buyer opens it okay then I add the label and next sale is a v-neck shirt so again this was listed within the last couple days this was in the haul video very quick sell um to 100 linen tahari sells super well for me especially if you add in you know additional factors like it's a 1x which is an amazing size um it's in excellent condition it's a really cute trendy color so this has a lot going for it. I really do like picking up Tahari if it is a great fabric. So 100% linen, 100% cashmere, Angora. Tahari, their basics definitely sell well. I don't pick up the diffusion lines like T by Tahari. Um, because they just don't seem to sell as well. Okay, so for this top, I think I had it listed at maybe like 32 or maybe 28, I, I forget now. Um, but it sold immediately by an offer of $25, making my earnings 20. I did pay two for this, so my net profit was $18. Okay, next we have a crossbody bag. Again, this was just listed. This is by Fossil. And it's a really great staple bag, kind of everyday brown leather bag for someone. And I haven't picked up Fossil in a while, actually, but I do like selling it. It is a pretty consistent seller for me um, when I do find it. This was actually made of goat hide, so very nice bag here. And I listed this for, I want to say $35. I got an offer of 30 
It did have a little bit of staining to the interior, like the lining, which I did note, obviously. Um, so I did take a little bit of a lower offer of $30 for it. I made 24 back and I paid $2. So my net profit was $22 on this bag, which I'm definitely happy with. Okay, next, a leather backpack. I mentioned it in the haul video, but any vintage genuine leather backpacks I that are in good condition, I 100% will buy <laughs> to resell that are, you know, a good a good price. I would say up to $5 or so. I mean, it depends on the bag and, you know, how many things it has going for it. I would, you know, even pay more than that. It, it really just depends. Um, but I paid $2 for this one. It sold for $29, making my net profit $21.20 on this bag. I really aim for that $20 return from outlet items. I'm very happy with the $20 return. Um, that is amazing for me. Especially because, you know, I, I usually do find several items at a time. Let me turn this around. Okay. Next up we have, okay, so this is the Lululemon tank that I was talking about. And this is called the Ebb, the Ebb Flow tank or something like that. And it's Ebb Flow number two. So it has like the Roman numeral two. It's ribbed and it's a racer back. And I did know that it was a little bit of a newer piece because the style number encircles the size and uh, but then when I did my research on it I saw that these this tank in particular sells pretty well um, people seem to really like the cut of it and how it fits I think some people collect them like all the different colors so that's interesting and I listed this at 45 I got an offer of $35, which I thought was excellent. I did accept making my earnings $28. I picked this up at the bins. I probably paid a dollar for it at most. It is incredibly lightweight. And so I made $27 total on this tank top. So that is, I'm thrilled with that for a Lulu tank. It is really nice though, and it does look really um, like flattering and you know easy to wear, such as. Okay, next, this is a parachute item. Um, I do have almost all my parachute stuff sold, which is exciting. Um, if you guys have been following on that journey. I got a whole bunch of parachute home items at the bins and my return has been so awesome. I actually weighed this. So this is a fitted sheet, one fitted sheet. It's not a sheet set or anything. This sold for $50. I did weigh the sheet. I got a new scale and so I weighed it to see how much it was. It was one pound 14, 1.14 pounds. And so that converts to, I paid $2.50 because my bins charges $2.19 per pound. So when you multiply 1.14 by 2.19, I got $2.50. So that's what I paid. It sold for $50. And that made my earnings 40. Uh, and my net profit $37.50. But this sheet, I think it retailed for like $110. So, I mean, the buyer, you know, still paid less than half of retail. 
and this is brand new so I mean it really is a win-win for both parties um, and you know a massive amount of bedding didn't go to a landfill so I mean this really was just kind of an all-around good thing that um, you know happened essentially so yeah I prepackaged everything um, let me just add a piece of tape just for good measure moving on we have a pair of sandals these are splendid sandals which splendid is a brand that doesn't have an amazing resale value the retail value is pretty high and it is really good quality stuff these are genuine suede and the stitching and everything is really nice um, so I do like to grab it at the outlet um, just because you know it's cute trendy high quality stuff but I don't pay up for it by any means um, like these sandals I've had listed probably three months or so and I got an offer of $18 which I accepted so my net profit came out to $12.40, which I'm happy with. Shoes are very quick to uh, list for me and ship, really. This took me, like, what, 45 seconds to wrap these up. So, yeah, I'm totally, totally happy with that. Um, every every sale adds up honestly so um, no complaints here I think I'm actually gonna have to open another another paper here I'm running low okay next we have another bundle this is a four-piece bundle first item is this lululemon hoodie once again very very newly listed this is a camo color. This was a very exciting find for me. Um, another $2 find in excellent shape. I was shocked when I found this. Definitely made my whole day. I'll wrap this separately. I actually think I'm going to use another big box for this. Okay, so we have that. Let me make box this is box number seven free from usps.com I have a list of all of the boxes I order in the description as well as a list of all of my shipping supplies okay so we have the Lulu hoodie next we have um, a pair of Zella leggings I ordered these from ThreadUp's online outlet. I like the mesh detail at the knees. They are high-waisted. Um, and Zella is a pretty marketable, or marketable, reputable brand being Nordstrom's in-house athletic wear brand. And third item are these Free People Frayed Hem Shorts shorts are definitely selling i have had these shorts for a while now i also sold another pair of shorts that i've had for over six months so people are on the lookout for shorts if you have shorts that have been sitting i would recommend you guys relist them and get them back in the algorithm because they will sell the fourth and final item in this bundle is this pair of banana republic calf hair leopard ankle strap flats and i actually bought these for myself i ordered them from ebay princess uh, well her poshmark username is elux but they just didn't 
they didn't fit me they were a little too big actually so um, that was kind of a bummer and so you always want to be sure if you have calf hair or any kind of material that you know could rub together and cause damage you want to be sure that you wrap it separately and so for this bundle I think the buyer bundled and offered me a hundred which I countered to 115 just because I haven't I haven't had really any action on those Banana Republic flats and I have had the free people shorts for so long that I was willing to take a little bit of a lower offer on the flats and the shorts and a little bit of a higher offer on the hoodie and Zella leggings because I did pay up for the Zella leggings. I did pay $6.50 on ThreadUp. My earnings after Poshmark fees came out to $92. I paid about $13 for everything. I didn't include the flats because I bought those for personal use, not to resell. And so my net profit was $79 on this bundle. I'm actually going to grab a paper here. This is Duck brand packing paper. It is, I really like it. I've used it for um, a couple years now and it keeps your packages secure or your items secure. It, but it's lightweight and um, and I also like how, you know, it's large enough to kind of fold up a variety of items and have them be, you know, covered and secure. Okay, so next we have a blouse. Another very quick sale. This is Adriana Papel, 100% silk ruffle sleeve button down top. And I listed this at 35, I want to say. I got an offer of 20, which I countered to 25, and the buyer did accept my counter. I was actually at the bins, and I was on my way out. I was walking to the checkout station, and I saw this top out of the corner of my eye. I just kind of threw it in my cart. I mean, I looked at it and saw that it was a really cute style, and just kind of threw it in my cart. And, you know, it's kind of crazy because that was, that was basically just like throwing an extra $20 into my cart. So, um, it's really kind of mind blowing how the bins, how cheap the bins is. I probably paid 75 cents to a dollar for this, making my net profit around $19. And it honestly is a beautiful blouse. It's very high quality, um, Adriana Patel makes some really nice pieces and she has a lot of like bridesmaids dresses and wedding kind of wear um and you know that was a hundred percent silk a beautiful silhouette to it this is another parachute item this is a king size flat sheet and i did also weigh this on my scale and it turns out I paid $6 for this at the bins. It sold for $70 on Poshmark. Again, I think the retail on this is like $120 or so. And it's like brand new. So I made about $50 on this sheet. Next, we have a bundle of two pieces. The first piece is this tank. This is definitely one of my favorite pieces from the haul. Um, it definitely has that lagging look, unique, kind of casual vibe to it. The brand is Meg by Design, and this bundle sold to um, a, she is a repeat buyer, she's very sweet, and so I hope she enjoys it. Thank you so much for shopping with me if you are watching this. The second piece in the bundle is, again, another favorite of mine, this really breezy, uh, casual kind of raw hem cropped kimono style cardigan 
and these were both just listed. This cardigan had quite a few people interested in it. Um, some people were, you know, messaging me asking when I was going to list it and it has no tag. That just kind of goes to show you that, you know, brand isn't everything. Style definitely plays a big role. And so um, this bundle, she bundled the two items and I sent her an offer of $69 with discounted shipping. The tank top, which was branded Meg by Design, a lot of those items had sold for a lot. I think it is a very expensive brand, um, which is why that might seem kind of high. Um, but I sent her an offer of $69 with discounted shipping. She accepted. My earnings were $53.70. I probably paid about $3 for both of these items, and so my net profit was $50.70. So again, thank you so much for shopping with me, supporting me, and um, for your business. So thank you. Next, we have a okay another bundle. This is a really fun bundle. So I'm really happy this sold quickly. This was something that I also picked up based on style. The brand is just Romans, but I loved the all over tie dye print with the cut. It's like a shark bite hem and like an off shoulder kind of wide cowl neck upper and also the super soft stretchy jersey knit fabric. The second piece is this Bordeaux poncho top and this is that slub cotton. So I definitely don't pick up all Bordeaux. It's like a more basics brand that's sometimes sold at Anthropology, but um, poncho, poncho cuts are always very fast sellers for me. And so I definitely had to grab it at the bins. If it were not in excellent condition, I would not have picked it up. And maybe also if it were not a size extra large, but it had several factors going for it. And it has a little bit of lint on it. I did steam it a couple times and I have, I have lint rolled everything, but seems like everything just attracts lint these days. So the buyer bundled the two and sent me an offer of $45, which I happily accepted. That made my earnings $36. My net profit came out to $33 on these two pieces. So I am pretty ecstatic about that. And honestly, this is a super cute bundle, so I hope she enjoys. These are two great just kind of throw on and go tops um, that are comfortable, but they have that style element to them. Trendy, trendy style. And so that's kind of an example of, you know, a bundle, you know, like I have lots of items in my closet that are just easy to throw on and go, but they do have like, you know, a little bit of a trendy factor to them. So it's probably easy to bundle with. I don't, I'm not sure. Okay. Next Calvin Klein graphic logo sweater again, sold within a couple days. This is adorable. I would totally wear this myself with some like ripped skinny jeans and white sneakers and this sold by offer of $26. It is a more uh, modern piece. If this were a vintage Calvin Klein sweatshirt that had a really cool kind of in your face logo like that, I probably would have listed it higher and expected closer to 35 to 40 for it. But because this is 
more modern, definitely around that $25 mark um, would be, you know, more of a selling price for this. Just because you think of, you know, how easy it would be to get a modern Calvin Klein sweatshirt. You could easily just order it um, as opposed to a vintage piece, which, you know, is probably harder to find another one of. So it's all about saturation and what is available, what's, what's easy to buy, what's hard to find. Next, a three piece bundle. This has two free people items. This one I have had listed, um, it's just looking it over again for a while. I ordered this from ThreadUp, um, I would say about a year ago now. And uh, it's really cute though. It's like this acid wash flannel. I would 100% wear this all day long, every day. I think it's adorable. Um, I'm not sure why it took so long to sell because a lot of more distressed gr grungy stuff from free people usually sells really well for me. So this is just kind of an outlier and this free people as well, which was a very newly listed item. It's a rainbow thermal. So these two pieces, and again, this did sell to a repeat buyer. She is incredibly sweet and thoughtful. I'm seriously so grateful for um, the support that I have from my YouTube channel. And um, honestly, Poshmark is a really positive community. Not all of my sales are, you know, from YouTube. I know. A couple people have kind of called me out and said like, oh, you wouldn't have, you know, a whole lot of sales if you didn't do videos, which might be true, but you know, I was a full-time reseller before YouTube. I was making daily sales. So, I mean, you know, you, you really don't know at this point, but um, yeah, I, I like to attribute my sales more to kind of the countless hours of research and trend report data that I kind of do um, as opposed to just, you know, people like, I don't think that people would go and buy stuff in my closet just because of my YouTube videos. It, you know, they have to think that it's cute and trendy too. So I don't know. I mean, I could be wrong on that, but okay. So third and last piece in this bundle is a reptile silk printed button down blouse. I think this is so pretty, so feminine, such a nice high quality piece. And this was also very newly listed. I mentioned it, but I've been loving these 100% silk vintage animal printed button down blouses. They've been selling really well for me. And I think it's just a very, you know, classic kind of wardrobe piece. You can dress it down with dark skinny jeans and flats, or, you know, you can dress it up, tuck it into a skirt and wear it to work. So they're pretty versatile and high quality. So yeah, this bundle, the buyer bundled the three and sent me an offer of $65, which I gladly accepted. That made my earnings 52. I paid about $15 for everything. I paid $11 for the uh, plaid free people top. And so my net earnings came out to $37 on this bundle. So once again, thank you so much if you're watching this for shopping with me. Next we have, what does this say? Oh, yeah, okay. Sometimes I cannot read my own writing. So these are a pair of Born Reptile sneakers. They're cute. They do have some wear, but you know, the leather upper is in great shape and Born sneakers are pretty expensive retail. I would say like around 
$80-ish would be my guess. Maybe even, you know, close to 100 So, I picked them up for $2. I have had them for maybe like nine months or so, and they sold for $20. So my net profit was $16. So, you know, not the highest return and I did have them for a while. So these probably weren't, you know, the best pickup, but you know, it's nice. Like I was saying, every sale adds up, honestly. Um, so I'm, again, I'm still happy with that. We have a pair of Anthropology Pilcro shorts. These are the shorts I was mentioning I've had for a while as well, maybe six months or so. These are the hyphen shorts in a size 27. I have definitely noticed a decline in the demand for Pilcro and the letterpress on the resale market. When I first started reselling, well, I would say about three years ago, Pilcro was, I loved finding it. I loved picking it up. But nowadays I have noticed that it does sit unless, you know, it's a great size. Like if it were um, like a camo pair of high-waisted size 32 jeans, I would be ecstatic to find it. But um, just picking it up, solely based on brand these days I I don't do anymore so I probably had these what did I say six six to nine months they I had them listed at 22 and they actually sold at full price last night which I was very excited about uh, my earnings were 1760 I probably paid about three dollars for these so my net profit was right around fifteen dollars and our last sale of the day is this tiger printed button down blouse with the sideways pocket. Again, I did have this in my haul video. It did sell within just a couple days of being listed. Um, this was something that I knew would sell quickly when I found it at the bins just because of this loud print and it has a really nice kind of minimalist texture to it. It really does look and feel like a very, very high quality piece. The brand is Dilemma New York, which is a vintage brand. I think it's like an, kind of an art to wear vintage brand. And again, there were several people who were interested in this piece. It ended up selling for $32. My earnings were $25.60. I probably paid about a dollar for it. So I made right around $25, which is a great return from the bins. And that is it for shipping. So the last time I shipped was, what is today? Today's Thursday. The last time I shipped was Tuesday. So this is from Tuesday afternoon Yeah, Tuesday from around 3 p.m. until today, which is Thursday at 3 p.m. So, uh, yeah, that's my sales within that time frame. And I am so happy about it, Very feeling very grateful and blessed to have um, lots of people shopping and lots of people supporting me. I'm so glad that you guys seem to like these videos. It really does make my day when y'all leave me really nice comments. I love to read through them. And yeah, I, I just feel very lucky and blessed to um, be doing what I'm doing and to be loving what I'm doing. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see y'all soon. Bye y'all.